joined at the uh, uh, podium today by uh, Mayor Kasim Reed from the great city of Atlanta, Georgia, uh, and by Governor John Kasich of Ohio. Uh, both of them have indicated their strong support and their strong belief that uh, Congress should approve the Trans-Pacific Partnership, uh, and they had an opportunity to discuss that with the President in the Oval Office uh, for about an hour or so this morning. Economically, trade always makes sense. Are there losers in trade? Yes, there are. And that's why it's important that we have a system that can retrain people for the jobs of the future. Frankly, if you don't trade, you hurt consumers. If you don't, tra if you don't trade, you hurt innovation. Uh, if you don't train, you withdraw from the world. But from the geopolitical sense, it is absolutely critical that the United States stand with many of these nations that are in some ways economically weak including a nation like Vietnam that is now asking us to work with them to develop a strong partnership that would have an economic underpinning. But that economic underpinning is absolutely going to lead to a strengthened sense of America's influence in Asia. Uh, could you imagine if we turned our back on those nations in Asia that are looking to us in a great sense of partnership to give them the courage and the strength to stand against a rising China. So both from an economic point of view and a geopolitical point of view, where will we be if we turn this down? These kinds of issues is where politics goes out the window and where the good of America has to be represented and has to be respected. I appreciate the President uh, inviting the group that we had in, in there this morning. He's He's very passionate about uh, the need to do this. He's willing to work uh, with uh, those who are both for and against. And he's, he, he's willing to, uh, to really put his shoulder to the wheel. America can't afford to lock the doors and lower the blinds and ignore the rest of the world. We're a force for good. And this TPP will help us not only on the economic side, but will also allow us to continue to be a strong world leader for good. Repression, lack of human rights, lack of democracy that some of these opponents to this deal support is not something that the United States should take lightly. I would call on my former colleagues in the House and the Senate to think here over the next couple weeks about the implications of saying no what it will mean for our future, and the fact that they can cast a vote that can strengthen our country and our alliances around the world. To me, that's what's at stake, and frankly, that's why I'm here today.